We're back on The Chef, you and I, with Donna Griffin and myself, and we're doing fried plantains, right? Right. Now, we peeled them. Now, show me how you cut them, because I know there's a certain way you do it. Well, you can either cut them in quarters or right. angle them, which is what I'm doing okay. a little bit. Okay. Um, so you have pretty big chunks like this. Okay. And then these are pretty sweet, so I think what we might do uh, right. is sprinkle them with a little sugar right. while we I'm gonna, fry can them. Can I cut them like this, too? So you can cut them like that, but you can try them that way or this do way. Do I want to cut them again or not? I would cut them again. Like this? Just, like in the middle? Yeah. Just kind of angled. Right. Like that. Because I've never done this before, Donna. <laughs> You Have you tell. eaten these before? I love these. I absolutely, after living in Asia, I'll tell you, I have tried every fruit in, and they're, the fruits in Asia are just so beautiful. Now we're going to put good. how much oil into the skillet? Okay, what kind of oil? Yes. Uh, are you going to use vegetable oil? I think I'm going to use Do vegetable oil. you have coconut oil? oil? Um, let me check in our closet and we'll be right back. We're back on the Chef You and I show, and now we're going to do the fried plantains. We already cut everything up, right, Donna? Right. And now we're ready to put them into the skillet. But first of all, I'm heating the skillet, and I'm going to add a little bit of oil. How much? Oh, just pour a little more, a little more. Is that enough? A little more. Wow. Because you're going to fry these pretty Like quick. almost like... Uh, stir fry or whatever, right? Right, right. Okay, and we're going to bring the camera over and show. So we want to heat the, this this up, right? Heat that oil okay. up, let it get sizzly. Okay, and then I can't wait to try everything after it's done. It'll be great, it's right? Gonna be <laughs> Delicious. Okay, we're going to take a little short break, and as soon as the, the oil heats up, we'll put the plantains in. We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef, you and I, and Donna, you're taking over because I've never done these before and I really need your help. So would you tell the audience exactly what you're going to do? We have heated the oil, put right. the plantains in, and right. plantains can be either really extra ripe or not so ripe, and right. that changes the flavor, whether it's sweeter, if it's riper, or right. kind of a crunchy, almost potato chip type thing. Ooh, that sounds so good. So these are kind of in the middle. So we're going to treat them sweeter, although once we flip these, we're going to sprinkle them with sugar. And while they're in the pan? While they're in the pan. Oh, wow. And then, then we're going to pull them out Do they a little bit, and okay. then we're going to give them a little bit more when they come out. Okay, that sounds okay. great. All okay, right. so I will get the sugar. Do you want me to put it on there now, or do you want me to wait? After I flip it. Okay, go ahead. I'm not sure if they're quite ready. Not quite. Not quite. So you really, really like this, don't you? Now, we use three plantains, right? Correct. And do you, do you serve this all the time? Not really. If I'm making something Mexican, I usually do this, or right. even in Belize when I go there. When you go to Belize, you right. do this. Right. Well, that would be something really South American or, you know, and that culture, their, their food is so delicious. Oh, all the be different t styles of beans and rice oh, and wonderful. every country has their own version. Nobody right. does it the same. No, that's true. I mean, the food. What's the most, um, most delicious thing that you've had in Belize? Oh, my goodness. Probably pibble. It's kind of a barbecued pulled pork that you cook in a, in a banana leaf for Ooh. a long time in a Sounds cooker. so good. It is really, really good. All right. Now I can turn this up a little. Yeah. It's, they're starting to brown. All right. That's good. And that's important. So, um, like I said, we're going to serve this whole beautiful dinner for Cinco de Mayo, which I'm really excited about. And you can, too, in, uh, when Cinco de Mayo happens. So we're going to put this out ahead of time. And like we said, we're putting it in the Ultimate Jet in-flight magazine, which I'm very, very excited about. I think I would sprinkle the sugar now. Okay. And then we're going to need um, a plate with a paper towel. Okay, we'll do that. They're browning like that. That's what we oh, want to wow. see. This reminds me kind of uh, like French toast, you know, except it's not fruit. I'm going right. to go and get the wonderful plate for you. I'll be right back. What's amazing is how, how many fruits and vegetables the people, the Spanish people really eat. Um, it's not all beans, rice, tacos. 
Well, here I've got the plate here that you can put this on, Donna. Okay. Hold on a second. Great. Here we go. With the paper towel. Mm -hmm. That looks good. And then you can sprinkle it lightly. With sugar. With, with sugar when in I take it out. In just a second. Okay. After you get them all in there. Right. Oh, these look so good, Donna. Mm. I'll sprinkle that with sugar in just a second after you Go get ahead. those done. Go ahead. And look at that. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to try these, Donna. Looks so good. And so what else? We're doing chicken and rice. We have a beautiful fruit salad. We have the plantains, and we have the... And the piece de resistance is the uh, Sopapilia the cheesecake. So, oh, I can't wait to try that, Donna. Ugh. Now, it's just almost done. <clears throat> so I'm going to sprinkle this with more sugar. I can't thank you enough for being on our show and doing these beautiful recipes. I do want to do Italian. I love Italian. So, and we're going to eat next because our dessert is finally finished. We'll Great. be right back on The Chef You and I, and we'll meet you at the table. We're back on The Chef You and I, and this is the part that I love, the piece of resistance, getting to eat everything that we labored for, correct? Correct. So let's talk just a, for a minute or two about what we made and what, what it is, actually. So the first thing that we made was the margaritas. Correct. Right, which are absolutely delicious. And... Next, we made the, the actual, you made the muffins, right? Correct. And then you made the wonderful dish uh, of the Spanish rice and chicken. Without garlic for you. Without garlic for me. Then we made it with garlic for Bill. For Bill and the rest of our guests tonight. Right. Then you made the fruit salad. Correct. And then we made the plantains. Correct. And then we made this gorgeous dessert. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, the it. dessert's to die for. It is to <laughs> die for. So a little of everything on, on Cinco de Mayo, you're going to absolutely have the best recipes that you could ever do for a crowd of people. I can't thank you enough, Donna. Thank you for having me, Catherine. Oh, you are just awesome, I sweetheart. I can't wait to do it again. I can't Elise. wait. here, wherever. Wherever. And the next time that we get together, we're going to do Italian. Then we're going to go to Belize. Okay. Sounds okay. great. Sounds good to me, too. We haven't done anything Italian for a while. So we want to say bon appetit. Bon appetit. And Cinco de Mayo. We'll see you next time on The Chef, You and I. Don't forget to go to our website at www.chefuani.com. See you next time. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Thanks for joining us on the Chef You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show.